President Biden making the case that he would push forward in the race for president, trying to reassure voters of his ability hours after a shaky debate performance rocked the Democratic Party. And I know how to do this job. I know how to get things done. And I know like millions of Americans know, when you get knocked down, you get back up. Biden trying to calm voters as many Democrats privately and publicly questioned whether he was fit to continue running. Donald Trump, while criticized for an avalanche of lies, dodges and distortions for his performance and style, pummeling Biden during a rally in Virginia for a lackluster performance. Joe Biden spent the entire week at Camp David resting, working, studying. He studied very hard. He studied so hard that he didn't know what the hell he was doing. The Biden team saying nearly an hour into the debate that the president had a cold and today saying he had a bad night with surrogates, including the vice president, coming to his defense. Listen, we've got 130 days, I'm counting, <laughs> until election day, 130 days. And this race will not be decided by one night in June. I will never turn my back on President Biden. Step down after the debate performance last night. Should he no. step aside? Privately, however, a Democrat in Congress saying the debate was a disaster for Biden and questioning if Democrats should be backing someone else. Others acknowledging that President Obama is one of the only people who may be able to shift Biden's thinking, but President Obama defending his former vice president. Bad debate nights happen. Trust me, I know. But this election is still a choice between someone who knows right from wrong and will give it to the American people straight and someone who lies through his teeth for his own benefit. Last night didn't change that. Zoreen Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles.